Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting Gucci unboxing. This is a rare bag. I have never seen this in person and I'm so 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 excited to have found it. I did find it on the Real Real and it's supposed to come brand new in the box with the dust bag and everything so I'm hoping this is a very luxurious unboxing. I'm going to do it on real time but if you're new here welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gals Guide and I come on here and I review my my luxury and contemporary handbags so if you love handbags as much as I do you should definitely consider subscribing down below hit that little red button I would love to have you join this little community with me here and to my current subscribers thank you so much for being here I am so grateful for you and I genuinely love chatting with you in the comments down below cannot wait to hear what you have to say about this bag once I unbox it I hope that I love her as much as I did when I saw her online so we'll see so I'm gonna get right into it as always thank you for all of your support I appreciate each and every one of you that clicked on this video so I have the box right here I did just get it in and I cut this open so it would save me some time so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up like this and it is in the box which is so exciting so I'm gonna take this Gucci box out of the box so it looks like they retied it so I'm just going to untie this here we're going to take the string off so here is the box and we're just gonna open her up wow and they even rewrapped it in the tissue paper so let me get that untaped and it came with the card so this is definitely the original beautiful packaging that Gucci has been giving so this is the dust bag. So I'm just going to unbag her. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This is the crossbody strap popping out here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Like this is a piece of art like my god is it beautiful it is even more beautiful than I could have anticipated from the pictures oh my gosh so this is the Gucci mini Affidia GG bag and I love this pattern this whole pattern is stunning so it is the Affidia print if you can see this beautiful cream and beige ophidia with the original green and red like stripe and then it has this gorgeous detailing of florals i love the colors i love the blue and the pink and the green all mixed together it just almost looks like a really it just honestly it looks like a piece of art in my humble opinion i think that the fact that the strap like continues this gorgeous like embroidering is so fun and I have seen this bag in a bunch of different colorways so I have wanted this particular bag in this size in the dark denim with that like cream GG print and it sold out online. I have found it on some pre-loved websites but I just never grabbed it like I just kind of went there's something about it that I'm just not sure if I'm going to wear it all the time. I do love a denim bag, but it is like a black denim, and I just don't know if it will match with everything. Who's to say? I've seen this in a, like, maroon burgundy Aphidia, and that one has the red and navy stripe. This one is something I have never seen. I remember seeing it when it launched on the Gucci website, and just thinking it was so beautiful, but I don't think it was available for purchase. And then I saw this come up on the Real Real at an amazing price, brand new in the box, and I just had to get it. So let's unpack her. So we've got this zipper pouch here. It's a pretty smooth zipper. Let's see. Okay, so you could probably get like a card or a few cards in here if you wanted to. It's like not super tiny, and that's a really nice zipper. And then the interior, let's investigate. Wow, it is in pristine condition. The interior is perfectly clean. And I love that the back pocket, that card slot holder, are that floral print. Oh my goodness. 
This is so exciting. So it also has the classic like key ring to hold your keys in here. This is a mini bag for sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if my phone fits, which I believe that it will. So I have the iPhone 14 Pro. It absolutely fits and there's plenty of room left in there to get more stuff. So I'm obsessed. I'm gonna try her on. We're gonna see like what this looks like styled on me. And I do see that there are a bunch of adjustments. I currently have it on the shortest and we're gonna see where this lays on me. And this is obviously like a canvas strap. So everything on the bag is canvas. It's definitely very lightweight, very comfortable. So I am gonna show you what this looks like styled on me. I am five foot two for reference. So this is what this looks like as a crossbody on me. This is quite long for me, like it hits me at the lower part of my hip, which is fine. I typically prefer my bags to be like higher up. This doesn't look bad, it's just definitely a little bit of a longer strap if you are someone who likes your bags a little bit higher up and you are sh even shorter than me potentially, this would be like pretty long. So I mean, I could wear it like this. I don't think it's like the worst thing in the world. It's definitely like pretty long though. And then because I have it so short, like obviously the strap kind of hangs like that. This certainly looks cute for sure. I think because it's so little, like it's not bothering me that it's a little bit longer. Like I think if it was really big and bulky and like too long and kind of like, you know, hitting me where I don't want it to hit me, then I think I would have a little bit more of an issue with it. And then as a shoulder bag, it is pretty long. Like it is all the way to my thigh down here. Like at the lowest part of my hip completely. I don't think that I will wear it like this. I will definitely more predominantly wear this crossbody. So first impression, I would say I do wish that the crossbody strap was removable. It is not. I kind of wish that I was able to kind of play around a little bit more with a different strap just because this is quite long. However, I think I will still wear it as a crossbody. And I mean, if I ever decide that I really don't want to keep this strap, I can always cut it. Like I've seen people on the um, Nano Speedies cut their straps so that they could have a different one because the one on the original Nano Speedy from Louis Vuitton is not adjustable and it's not removable. So that would be something to think about. It's not the worst thing in the world. I think it is super cute. I think it's like kind of a statement-y kind of bag but you could also wear it casually. So I think first impression for me is I absolutely love the canvas. I know I love Gucci's canvas. I know that it's gonna be durable. I think the look of it is absolutely stunning. I do wanna see like how often I wear it and kind of like how much fits. I will do a full review on this and kind of give you an update of what fits and how I'm liking it. I think that it's a pretty good size for a mini bag just upon first glimpses here. I think that this is going to fit everything that I need on a daily basis. I don't know how much this is going to match, so stay tuned for that. So that is going to conclude this little unboxing. Thank you so much for being here if you're still here with me. And if you have any questions about this bag, I'd be happy to answer that for you in the comments down below. And definitely let me know if you want me to do a full review on this. I'd be happy to do that. Thank you so much again for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.